we're preparing to go on our residential, which is part of our adventure stage of NCS. We just did a whole bunch of activities, stayed three nights in the share centre down in Lisna Key, and we just did a whole bunch of activities together and generally just got to know each other. It builds like a relationship between us all and... Cross community so it was. Mm -hmm. So it was some Protestants and some Catholics. So today we've done archery, um, uh, abseiling, abseiling, and climbing the wall. And zipline and climbing the wall. Banana boating. Oh, I was freezing like banana boating. Funny. Really good fun. I think we can all agree that um, <laughs> the, acti <laughs> the activities we got. The activities were uh, good fun, good crack. Yeah, it was a lot of team building, getting to know your team and developing the skills you'll need for uh, social action. So I think that was really eventful. It's busy getting out of your comfort zone. Get away from your parents for a couple of nights, make new friends and have lots of fun. My favourite thing we did was probably um, stand up paddleboarding and uh, I fell into the water a lot. <laughs> I have no sense of balance so... My head of the last dance hall was uh, just getting to know each other more better, playing cards, watching movies and just activities. We got to do t-shirt making, so we made Ran a lovely t-shirt saying <laughs> archery champion all the time. It was a bit of crack as well. It was a bit awkward meeting the new people, but as we started talking to people, it was just normal. This is phase two of uh, our NCS. Our discovery stage where we basically took in a whole bunch of different programs and training. I think it's also called our skills stage. And we did all this training. We learned about like different aspects of life. Like we did gender equality session, session from children crossfire, about economic equality and uh, money for life. We learned financial skills that might be important to our social action. We're also going to work on our um, presentation skills and how to tap into our confidence and build up on that before we start our social action project, which will be very soon. We also did taiko drumming, which was fun. Uh, I really liked the talk from Children in Crossfire because, I don't know, I just felt like it really made me a bit more humble because like, there, there's like people out there that are like not as well off as people in Western society. So. Just because it's so eye-opening finding out how much money is being taken from third world developing countries. I think it's very eye-opening seeing how privileged we are even if we don't consider ourselves privileged. So now we're planning out our social action, something just giving back to the community. We're doing a social action program on mental health. This is a big risk now in Belfast. It involves a, a student video speaking about the percentages of people taking their own lives in our, in our own areas. Put it up on Facebook, Belfast Live, and uh, just hopefully they share it and everyone will see it. It's just talking about mental health and just that way kids can get through life and help them be better and make them better opportunities for themselves in the future. Getting this video out, I think will help them. And so far I think we're kind of leading towards the economic inequality that we learned from Children in Crossfire. And from there we'll just organise what we want to do as a group. Learned that our generation especially seems to be a lot more open-minded about a lot of ideas. I think it's, to me at least, it's more about creating friendships and relationships. Um, and it's kind of made your self-confidence grow because there are your own people who you're suddenly comfortable with like in a day, your best friends. Usually when you think about contributing back to your community, it's usually all hard work and unnecessary applications and funding. With NZF, it's fun, you know, it's not grueling and hard work, it's, you're, you're doing something enjoyable. just want to say thank you to Papier Smyrna and thank you to the young people for giving up their time and giving up their all to do it.